During World War II, in emergency situations, this stuff was injected into the bloodstreams of soldiers as a substitute for blood plasma because of its similar electrolyte balance. This is arguably one of the most hydrating things that you can put into your body. It's like what Gatorade claims to be, but doesn't even come close to in comparison. This is the best form of coconut water you can get your hands on. It's completely unpasteurized and straight out of young coconuts imported from Thailand. Now, because it's not easy to get this stuff, especially in America, the next best thing that you can do is get organic coconut water from companies like Sprouts, or harmless harvest. If I don't have any of this at hand, I almost always have one of these. You'll find these in the refrigerated section because they're also unpasteurized, but you will notice that they're pink in color because of an enzyme in the coconut water that when it's exposed to air, like during the bottling process, it oxidizes and turns the water pink. These are still great and very hydrating, but these do lose a little bit of nutrients, flavor, and freshness when they're oxidized. Now, if you're one of those people that doesn't like coconut water at all, you've probably only had the shelf-stable kinds that are pasteurized, sold at room temperatures, and are generally sold in a box container. If these are the only kind of coconut water you're drinking, I highly suggest opting for an unpasteurized kind. These will be a lot more hydrating, more refreshing, and taste a lot better.